Hello, Nyakaling. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How Teacher, are you? Antes de que... Ah, bien. <laughs> es que venía con la duda de la tarde. Que yo fui la que había puesto en el grupo lo de... Ay, lo que puse de, del ejercicio. Ah, ok. Pero, o sea, mi duda era lo de la plataforma, porque vaya, cuando a veces nosotros hacemos ejercicios, y digamos, vienen cinco en desarrollar y nos equivocamos solo en uno, nos puntúa correcto cuatro y nos pone malo uno. Entonces, en este último ejercicio que yo estaba haciendo del examen final, decía que teníamos que poner cuatro respuestas correctas. Yo había puesto cinco. Entonces, me tuvo que haber puntuado tres buenas y, una, y, y mala, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa era mi duda, de que si él había error en eso, porque si había seleccionado tres buenas. Ah, ok. Entonces, esa fue la confusión, entonces. Ajá, eso fue, porque sí había seleccionado tres de las cuatro, pero no me las puntuaba. Ah, sí, ¿verdad? Bueno, nos confundimos, entonces. Yo creí que el ejercicio era el que estaba malo, ¿verdad? Que usted chequeó no. todas y que todas se las puso buenas. No, no fue así. Ah, no ok. <risa> Ah, esa era mi duda. Ok. Eh, pero al final sí, ¿verdad? Solo le dan cuatro. Sí, pero no las pone correctas. Si uno no selecciona las cuatro, no le valida las otras. O sea que no nos ayuda el último ejercicio. Ajá, por eso preguntaba si solo a mí me pasaba o les había pasado a los otros. Es correcto. Ah, ok. Ok, hasta, bueno. Hasta que se seleccionaban las correctas, no te dejaba pasar. Ajá, no dejaba pasar. <risa> bueno, el último ejercicio tenía que ser. Muy interesante. Salió difícil el último. No, no, sé. oh, no, no fue tan difícil. Wow, nah, 25 mm. intentos nada más. Algo así. <risa> Todas las combinaciones. En el número 23 me salió. <risa> ah, ok, that's perfect. So, hello, Xiomara, hello, Rosa, Elba, Rubén. Welcome to the class. En Rolando. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine. Okay. Happy, happy Teacher's Day, teacher. Thank you so much. And what about the platform? I want to ask you about that. Have you already finished? No, I really, I really have a problem with the exercise. <laughs> ah, but it's it's only try again and again and again. <laughs> ah, okay, what is your problem? In which exercise do you have that problem? Can you tell it's me? In el, it's in el, it's in el cuarto ejercicio del examen final, el, el de ordenar la, la oración. Ah, okay, let's see a look of that. Mm. What is it? We're going to solve that problem. Wait, wait. Let me click on the no era. Ah, here we go. You see, final exam. Yes. Final exam, exercise four. Exam final. Team. El four. Solo tenía cinco preguntas. Just five questions. Mm -hmm. Is this one? <laughs> B. Exercise D. Was it easy or was it difficult? Everyone. Uh, si en el cuatro. Is... Se me dificultó. Uh, ah, pero ya estuvo. Si Omar, sí. have you already finished this part? <laughs> no, I can't. No yet. Ok. Es que no me, por más que lo intento, no lo puedo poner en orden. Pero es que esas cosas de estar intentando. Ah, ok. But this is the right order. We are going to help you with this. Uh, we did yesterday, right? We did this exercise yesterday. At the end yes, of the yes. class. Because uh, I guess Jancy have the same problem. Do you remember that? So who is la uno. Si me the... acordé que era de ella el problema, pero no puse atención porque no, ya, no la había hecho. 
y me confundí. Ok. So, who's, who's the person sitting on, on the couch, couch uh -huh. next to Jason? That's the answer. So, who's the person okay, sitting you. on the couch <laughs> next to Jason? Okay. <laughs> ya sé que fue. Es el, de... es el apóstrofe. <laughs> ah, de apóstrofe. Probablemente uh -huh. ya haya hecho esta combinación, ¿verdad? Pero le falló el apóstrofe o algún espacio, ¿verdad? Como mencionaba Rolando ayer. Eh, por un espacio extra y se nos arruinó ahí la respuesta. Bueno, ahora sí, Xiomara. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, that's excellent. I have here someone. The... Oh, somebody shared here. Oh, you were Rolando. <laughs> uh, he shared the answers on the chat. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you so much. You are always ready to help your classmate, and that is really great. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, anybody has a question about the platform exercises? No, no more problems. Okay. Mm, don't forget, please, that tomorrow is the due date, right? To finish the platform uh, and the final exam, of course, right? No hay más tiempo, ¿verdad? You don't have any more time. Time is over. Tomorrow, before the last class, the platform must be finished. Y toda su gráfica tiene que estar al 100%, ¿verdad? If not, si no fue posible, al menos el 80% de todos los ejercicios y de los dos exámenes. Si aún no lo tiene, todavía hay tiempo, ¿verdad? Se puede quedar hoy hasta la una de la mañana y mañana. In tomorrow, if you haven't finished, en el caso de que no hayan terminado. In the exam, I need help. Exercise B, number two, letter B. Okay, Juan, let's see a look at this. Section 2. Okay. Section 2, okay. It says... Let's Ejercicio see. Ejercicio B, number 2. Letter B. Al final. Ah, the final. Let's go to exercise B then. Let's see a look at this exercise. Let's go to exercise B. This is A, B. Complete conversation. Exercise two, you say, to be. Okay. Is it? El is, número. Juan, is it the exercise? Okay. El sing. Hello, Juan. Okay, Maria P. Is. Ah, letra B. El número dos, letra B. Yes, it is. Ah, okay. Ah, had. Is this one? No, he has never had. It, okay, like, you have to write the there have been past participle form, which is had. No, <laughs> no, he has never had it in his life. And what was the question? Uh, has he ever? Has he has ever he, eaten Thai has food he before? Ever eating thai, thai food before? As él ha comido comida tailandesa antes. Ok, and the answer was no, he has never had uh, he has eaten never his had life. Had <laughs> <laughs> ok, Juan, ¿es it ok? No. Ah, ok. Por eso no llegaba al 100% de la plataforma. Ahora sí. Thank you, thank you so much. So let's go with tonight's topic. In tonight's topic, we're going to study four and things. Yesterday, we started studying already in jet with present perfect. And tonight, we're going to study this one. Present perfect with four and things. But before we go to this, uh, let's read the lesson object for tonight. In this section, you will learn the use of present perfect with four and things. But before to go with foreign scenes, let's make a practice here. Okay. We are going to have some option to answer these questions using present perfect. 
say what you have already done uh, today and what you have not done yet. Lo que ya hicimos, lo que hemos hecho o no hemos hecho el día de hoy. So let's see. Number one, uh, listen to music. Have you already listened to music? Es una oración afirmativa. ¿Cómo diría? Yo ya escuché música. Yo ya he escuchado música. Today. I have. Ok. Utilizando already. ¿Cómo digo? Yo ya he escuchado música hoy. Uh, can you help me? So I already listen to music. Ah, I okay. have I have listened already to listen to music. Ah, okay. Do you remember what is the position of already in this type of sentences? Is after the auxiliary have and before the verb. Uh, I have already listened, listened to music. To music. Okay, excellent. I have already listened to music in past participle. Listen. Let's go with the second. Okay, swimming. Negative sentences. Todavía no he nadado hoy. What's the answer? It's a negative sentence. Yo no he nadado todavía. I not go swimming yet. No. Uh, Uy, listen, no. Listen lo mismo está. Scripture. Okay, sería I haven't. I, I, have, I haven't gone. I haven't gone. Swimming jet. Swimming jet. jet. Okay, excellent. I haven't gone swimming yet. Go in past participle. Uh, to take some photos. El día de hoy ya se tomó la respectiva selfie diaria. And you say, yo ya he tomado algunas fotos today. It's an affirmative sentence. I have, I have already taken some photos. Okay, excellent. I have already taken some photos. Photos today. Today. And the next one, make my bed. Ya hicieron su cama. O se les olvidó en la mañana cuando termine la clase. ¿Cómo sería la oración? Yo ya he arreglado mi cama. I have, I already, I have already made, made, made my bed. Ok, okay. excelente. Oh, I have already made my bed. My bed. And this one. Ya salieron con sus amigos today. I have. I have, I have already, already gone went. out with my friend. Okay, present perfect. We use the past participle of go, which is when or gone? When? Gone. Gone. Gone, right. I have already gone out with my friend. And the last one, ya la voz uniforme para mañana. Bueno, in case that you wear a uniform for your work or for your high school. No. Ya no utilizan uniform. You don't wear uniform. Okay, yes. As an example, see, I haven't washed my uniform yet. Let's take a look at the answer here. Number one, I have already listened to music. Number two, I haven't gone swimming yet. The next, I have already took some pictures. I have already made my bed. I have already gone out with my friends. 
I haven't washed my uniform yet. Let's go with the next. In the next exercise, you have to answer this question. Eh, experience, right? So tell me, ¿ya ha hecho esto o no lo ha hecho? On, um, go on a roller coaster. Then you say, si sí, yo ya me he subido a una montaña rusa. Or you say, no, no me he subido todavía. Who wants to start? Who wants to complete this sentence? I have gone on a roller coaster. Okay, excellent. So you say, I have gone on a roller coaster. Any other answer? Orlando? I haven't gone on a roller coaster. Okay, I haven't gone on a roller coaster. Yo no me he subido en una montaña rusa. Let's go in the second. ¿Ya tienen esta experiencia o no? Chan. Yes, I have. In a karaoke bar. Have you ever seen in a karaoke bar? So, have or haven't? I haven't. Okay, so I'm gonna say in I have and in a karaoke bar. Anyone? Any other answer? I have sung. Okay, I have in sung. a karaoke bar. Okay, that's nice. Let's go with number three. Okay. Sleep under the stars. Tiene o no tienes experiencia, have o haven't. Haven't. I haven't oh. sleep. Uh, what is the past participle of sleep? Sleep. Sleep. Um, okay, give me a second. What is the past participle of the verb? Go, el past participle de ver, go. Gone. Gone. Yes. Gone. Aquí lo vamos a escribir. Gone. The past participle of sing. Sound. Y like this one. Or it's like regular verb. It's regular verb. No. Ah, no, 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 no. Ajá, ajá, es cierto. The end of past participle is slept. Slept. So, have you ever slept under the stars? Ha dormido bajo las estrellas? Then you say, I have a slept uh, under the star. Or I haven't slept under the I star. I haven't slept I, under the star. I haven't slept. Okay, under the star. Ha de ser genial. O ha de ser mucho frío. We don't know. Oh, mucho frío. <laughs> Number four. Uh, win a competition. I what? have won a competition. Okay. What is the past participle of win? Want. Okay. Won. So, ahora ya puedes decirme, I have won a competition. Or I haven't won a competition. What is your answer? I have won a competition. Ah, okay. What was it about? Acerca de qué era? Swimming? Dancing. Dancing. Ah, that's great. Eh, anybody? You say, I have won a competition. I haven't won a competition. Nobody? Then let's go with the next, number five. Write a poem. What is the past participle of write? Wrote. Wrote. I have wrote a poem. Okay. ¿Ya han escribido un poema? ¿Ya tienen esa experiencia? I haven't. I, I have wrote a poem. I have wrote a poem. I have wrote 
Okay, yeah, I have a note here. This is the gram. And let's go with number six. Look at this, fall asleep in class. I, I have fall asleep in class. Oh, what is the class participle though? Fall? What is the past participle of fall? I have read a poem. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. Okay, I just have I a have question for you. What did you say is the past participle of write? Wrote. Wrote or written? Wrote. Wrote. Or greeting. Proud. Oh, greeting is the right verb in the simple past. And in fall, what is? Fall. No. What is it? Fallen is again. Fallen. So, ¿ya se han dormido en clase? Yes, I have. Yes. yes, I have. Ah, ok. So, you say, I have I fallen asleep in class. Ok, I have fallen asleep in class. ¿Cómo les fue? ¿Lo regañaron? No. Pero ahorita nadie me regaña. <risa> no se dan cuenta Apago la cámara oh, Ah, ok Ya tienen su truco Hay métodos Hay métodos Excelente Number seven Catch a fish ¿Alguna vez han pescado un pez? Uh, I have o I haven't have a fish. I have catch a fish. Muchas veces. Ah, ok. Me encanta like, pescar. Do you like to go fishing? I love fish. I love, ¿cómo se dice? Catch fish. Ok. Fishing. I, I like haven't. to go fishing. I haven't caught a fish. Oh, okay. I haven't caught a fish. I haven't caught a fish. Let's go with number eight, the next one. Let's do it in a hurry. Uh, climb a mountain. Have you ever climbed a mountain? I have or I haven't? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, ah, okay. The next, Clip. traveled abroad. Viajar al extranjero to another country, travel abroad. I have traveled abroad. Okay. Any other answer? I have or I haven't traveled abroad. I haven't traveled abroad. Okay. And the last, copy homework. ¿Alguna vez copiar una tarea a alguien? Yes, I have. Yes. Ultimamente. <laughs> I have copied the homework. Uh, do you have any question about this activity? No question? Then let's so go tengo que aprenderme los verbos. Yes, we need to practice. I'm going to share with you a list, right? With the, let's say, most useful birds. Uh, regulars and also irregulars. I'm going to share that with you tomorrow. Let me erase here the notes that I wrote there and let's continue. In this part, you have to choose some numbers and you are going to find some activities 
and you are going to tell me if you have or haven't uh, done it. Y si ya lo hizo, we are going to use already. Si no, we are going to use yet in a negative sentence. Simple, uh, sorry, present perfect. Siempre con el presente perfecto, ¿de acuerdo? Vamos a utilizar already and yet. This one? Yes. Permítame, permítame. Oh, sí, es tú. Ah, Gracias. ok. Teacher, okay. yo tengo oh. una pregunta. Tell me what is your question. Eh, si yo utilizo never u otro adverbio, siempre van a ocupar la posición entre el auxiliar y el verbo o se va a mantener la regla anterior. Por ejemplo, si yo digo yo he comido siempre vegetales, entonces always dónde iría? Sería I have I have eaten. ¿Dónde pongo el always? O siempre se va a mantener la regla que se utilizaba, que, que, que nos explicó anteriormente. Porque esto es solamente already, already y yet. Ok, muy bien. Sí, estamos estudiando already y yet. En este caso, already sí va específicamente acá. I have already. Va después del, del auxiliar, que en este caso es have. Y antes del verbo, I have already gone to the movies. Then, your example, always, you say, I have always, I have always eaten vegetables. En ese caso, sí, it is, I, I have always eaten vegetables. So, luego vamos a ver for and since y ellos tienen otra posición, ¿verdad? Yet van también en otra posición, pero generalmente always lo usamos en presente, eh, en presente simple, ¿verdad? Para decir, yo siempre hago eso. Sí, I always eat vegetables. Sería así, I always eat vegetables. But in case you want to use it in present perfect is después del auxiliar. I have always. Esa sería su posición. Any other question? No more question? Well, I need a volunteer who wants to choose a number. Tell me a number and we are going to see what is under each number. Any volunteer? Fifteen. 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 Okay, let's see. Ride a motorbike. Then you have to use already and jet for, or a jet for your answer. I have already ridden a motorbike or I haven't ridden a motorbike yet. What is your sentence, Jacqueline? I have jet ride a motorbike. Creo que lo dije bien. Ok. Oh, no. <laughs> Sería, no lo he hecho. Ah, no, no, ah, pues, no, no, no. I'm ready. Ah, ok. ¿Sí si ha montado una motocicleta? Sí. Yes. Ah, entonces sería, I have already uh -huh. ridden a motorbike. I have already ridden a motorbike. Okay, excellent. Any other volunteer? Tell me a number. Choose a number. Rolando okay. dice. 14. 14. Yeah, number 14. Oh, it's living class. Ah, no le guay, no le guay. Eso ya va con, con declaratoria. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Ya es un mensaje subliminal uh, para que no se vuelva a dormir. Okay. <laughs> Tell me another I, number, Rolando. I had already sleeping class. Slept. I, I slept. have already slept in already class. Already slept in class. 
Ok, excelente. Choose another number. Esta ya la habíamos visto. Rolando, again, say a number, please. Uh, uh, 17. 17. Oh, fail an exam. For uh, Giselle. For Giselle, okay, Giselle. Have you ever failed an exam? What's your answer? I have already failed an exam or I haven't failed an exam yet. Any volunteer? Then I'm gonna choose somebody, let me see who. Uh, Henry. Oh, Juan Francisco, thank you. Yes, it's out. ¿Cuál sería su respuesta en esta parte? Have you ever failed an exam? Ya yeah, uh, fail es como no aprobar. Yes. yes, I have already failed an exam. Okay. Yes, I have already failed an exam. Thank you so much. Anyone who wants a number, tell me. Who wants to help me? Choose a number, please. Volunteers, volunteers. Okay, Rolando, choose one of your classmates, please. Who, Rolando? Lorena Patricia. Okay, Lorena, can you listen to me? Hello, Lorena, good evening. Nah, uh, 16. 16. Let's see what is under 16. Okay, forget a birthday. Forget a birthday. Eh, ¿Cuál es el past participle of forget? Do you remember? Forgot. Forgot is the past. Forgotten. Gotten. Okay, muy bien. Now. I have already forgotten a beer day or I haven't forgotten a beer day yet. ¿Ya ha olvidado un cumpleaños? Lorena, Patricia. Yes. 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 Then. Yes, I forget a beer day. Ah, okay, then say yes. Or you say, I have no. for going a real day. Yes. Y si queremos agregarle already, sería acá. I have already for going a verde. Excellent. Uh, anyone? Any other volunteer? Pick a number, please. Which one? Which one do five. you want? Number, number five. Okay, number five. Let's see what is number five. Travel abroad. So travel is a regular bird. What is the past participle of travel? Then you say, I have travel. ¿Ya ha hecho eso o no ha hecho esa actividad? Yes, I yes. have. Yes, I have already traveled abroad. Ok, excelente. I have already traveled abroad. Any volunteer? Rubén, do you want a number? Um, 13. Ok, 13. Number 13.
Drink wine. I have drink drink. Wine. Okay. I have already <coughs> drunk drunk wine. wine. Okay, excellent. Thank you. The last one, el último número, the last number here. Who wants to help me? 25. Okay, let's go with 25. See, have you ever seen a ghost? I haven't yet seen a ghost. Okay, let's write your sentence. I, I haven't. I haven't seen a ghost, a ghost yet. Ah, okay, excellent. I haven't seen a ghost yet. Excellent. Do you have any question? No question. Thank you. Entonces, so much. el jet sería al final. At the end. At the end. El jet siempre va al final. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's see the notes y and let's go. Yes. ¿Y este yet, cómo se traduce en la oración? ¿O se queda sin traducción? Eh, significa todavía, es algo que ah. no ha hecho todavía. Uh -huh. Yo no he tomado vino todavía. Uh -huh. Pero cabe la posibilidad que más adelante si lo hagamos. Entonces, yet means todavía. O puede ser aún, dice Ro. Ok, también lo podemos traducir como aún. Aún no he hecho esa actividad. Todavía no he hecho esa actividad. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. Ok, let's talk about four and things. Um, when we're going to use four and things. Look at this example. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. So simple past. Ya ha terminado esa acción, ¿verdad? Ya no vive ahí. Solo vivió ahí por dos años. Now take a look of the present perfect. How long have you lived in Miami? I have lived here for six months. I love it here. I live here since last year. I'm really happy here. Pass, simple pass. La acción ya terminó, ¿verdad? Ya no vive en Thailand. How long have you lived in Miami? Aquí ahora sí. ¿Cuánto tiempo has vivido en Miami? I live here for six months. I love it here. He vivido aquí por seis meses. Amo este lugar. Amo estar aquí. I live here since last year. Vivo aquí desde el año pasado. I'm really happy here. Estoy muy feliz acá. Significa que todavía está en ese lugar. Now let's see a video with the explanation of how to use for in since in a sentence. Let's go to the platform. We're going to watch a video on the platform. I'm pretty sure that you have already seen the video. ¿Vieron el video de esta explicación? In section yes. number four. Yes? Yes. Sí. Oh, sí. Do you remember when we are going to use for and when we are going to use sing? Things, sir. Things is punctually time. Okay. And for. No hay como tiempo definido. Number four es para un periodo de tiempo. Four is for a period of time, as we can see here. For six years, for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. Eh, ¿Por cuánto tiempo? Es un periodo de tiempo. Y things es cuando comenzó. Desde cuando comienza un punto específico en el tiempo. Let's see a look at this video. 
Let me know if you can listen. We have taught at this school for. Okay, I'm gonna some... For hours, for two hours. I have worked here. Hello, in this session, the use of. Can you see the video and listen to? Yes, I see yes. it and listen. Thank you so much. For and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Okay, so look at these sentences. She has lived here for 20 years. Ha vivido aquí por 20 años. And she still lives there. Y todavía vive ahí. We have taught at this school for a long time. Le hemos enseñado en esta escuela por mucho tiempo. And they are still teaching there. Alice has been married for three months. Alice ha estado casada por ese periodo de tiempo, tres meses. And she is still married. They have been at the hotel for a week. Aún están en el hotel. Han estado ahí por un periodo de una semana, for a week. And they still are, they are in the hotel. Todavía están ahí. So, any volunteer to practice reading the sentences? Who wants? Who wants to practice? Who wants to help me reading this? Using for it. Yes? Este, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me. Porque yo, yo tengo una pregunta. Este, el for, el for es ahí según la presentación también es para el present perfect es que ah. eso, es, eso es precisamente eh, yo vi el video yo bueno estaba algo estaba enferma el fin de semana pero aún así este, yo vi pero honestamente estaba esperando que usted abordara eso porque a mí al final no me quedaba no me quedaba muy claro es decir en qué momento utilizo el for y en qué momento utilizo el since Entonces, según lo que veo, el for es para el present perfect, pero hace un momento usted dijo que el for es para un periodo que ya pasó, para el past, para el simple past. Entonces, me gustaría mm. que aclarara eso, por favor. Ah, ok, no, I say a period of time. Dije, un periodo de tiempo. Utilizamos for cuando queremos referirnos a un periodo de tiempo. For example, six years es un periodo de tiempo de seis años. But it is for present. It's for present perfect. That is why I said that it's a period of time. Es, se utiliza for cuando nos referimos a un periodo de tiempo. Pero lo vamos a utilizar con el presente perfecto. ¿De acuerdo? No for simple past. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Now, who wants to help me to read these examples? Just one volunteer. Me? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Do it, please. Eh, desde, desde donde dice for plus no. period of... No, last, the sentence. The, the sentence. Just yes, the okay. sentence, please. She has a specific lived. moment. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Le di click aquí sin querer. Mm. Okay. Here is it. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at the school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. 
Okay, thank you so much. Let's go with the next Week. explanation about since. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Okay, now, seen as Jacqueline said, is for a specific moment when something started. Es para mencionar, ¿verdad? El momento específico cuando uh, una actividad comenzó, cuando algo comenzó. And look at this example. She has lived here since 1980. Ha estado viviendo, vive aquí, ¿verdad? Ha vivido aquí desde 1980 y todavía está en, en el mismo lugar. We have taught at this school since 1965. Eh, nosotros bueno, empezamos a enseñar en esta escuela en este punto específico del tiempo. En 1965, Alice has been married since March 2nd. Alice has, ha estado casada desde este punto específico en el tiempo, desde el marzo, el segundo día de marzo. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Han estado en el hotel desde, desde el jueves pasado. So, let's see. I have a question here. Desde. Okay, thank you, Rubén. Yes, desde. That is the meaning of sin. Do you have an equation with this? Preguntas? Do you have a question? No question. Then if you don't have any other question, let's try to solve this exercise. I'll just let's remember how to solve this. Pam was in Central America. I need four or six to complete this sentence. Who wants to help me in number one? Four. Okay, Pan was in Central America for a month last year. And the second one? Four. I've been, I, I've been a college four. student for or seen. For almost four For teacher. The next one? Hiroshi has been at work. Been at work. Science. Since six, uh, six o'clock a.m. Number four. 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 I have a gone up to a party for a long time. Sorry, teacher, I can't see the, 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 the phrases. Can you see them now? No, se ve muy borroso. Ah, ok. Se ve bien. Se ve bien, teacher. Yes. Se ve bien. Igual. Ok, can you see it now? Igual, una pequeña, pero se ve. Se ve algo. No es que se va a decir, pero se ve bien. Creo que es mi internet. Mira bien. Ah, ok, ok. No problem, Jacqueline. Okay, let's go with number four. I haven't gone to a party. No, era yo. Four. <laughs> for a it's long four. time. It's four. Number five. You live in Venezuela. Four to years for a kid. Okay, number six. My parents has been on vacation. On vacation Sunday. 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 <laughs> Four or since? Since. 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 Nat Natalie was engaged to Danny. For six months. For, for six months. For six months. <laughs> Pat and Valeria had been best friends 
Since high school. High school. We Since. have been in class. Since the babies Since. had cried for, for 30 minutes. For 30 minutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. A big 10. Excellent. 34 points of 34 points. That's great. So do you have any question about how to use for and sing? A question, teacher. Okay. Then let's try to solve some questions. Let's go with this. With for or since. Cuando comenzó usted a trabajar? Then you say, I have work. Puede completar esa, utilizan esa oración, perdón. Using since or for. Since, 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 since 2019. 19, 2019. 2019. Ah, okay. I have worked since 2019. Ahora, si quiero utilizar for, ¿cuántos años serían? ¿Cómo sería el periodo de tiempo? I have worked for, for three years. For three years. Okay, I have worked for. Three years. Three years. Okay. I have worked since. Now, can you complete the next sentence? I have studied. I have studied English. Thanks. Since last year. 2020. Since last year. Okay, since last year. Now you see four. In first mod, no sé, primer módulo. <laughs> También ah, se okay. puede. Okay, you say then you can use four for three weeks. Oh, desde el primer módulo me dice. Ajá, de, desde básico. <laughs> Entonces sería ta, 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 one month, like five months, right? I have studied the, the zero. <laughs> English for five for months. Five months. Okay. I have driven a car. Desde cuando conduce un carro? Yo he conducido un carro. 15 years. Okay. Car. For. For 15 years? Yes. 15 años conduciendo? Yes. Ah, okay, I have driven a car for 15 years. Any other answer? Using things. Y si lo escribo igual, este, I have driven a car since 15. I have driven a car since I was desde los 15 años. Exactly. Yes. Okay. I have driven a car since I was 15. Okay, do you have any question about how to use things and for? No questions? No questions, teacher. No questions, teacher. No questions. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. So tomorrow we are going to have a feedback, of course. We are going to study the topic that we have been uh, 
studying right uh, during the section number five and section number four too. Do you have any question about the night class? No questions? Question. Question. Okay, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, please don't forget about the platform. It is important that you complete all the exercises. If you have a problem, if you have a still, you have a problem, uh, write on the WhatsApp group, right? If I cannot help you at the moment, you right there, some of your classmates uh, help, are going to help, right? Like Rolando, he is always ready to help uh, the classmates. So please complete, complete um, the, the platform, completa, ¿verdad? valga la redundancia, completita. Si puede dejarla todo al 100, pues mucho mejor, ¿verdad? Aunque se le solicita el 80 por el 80%, por ciento, ¿verdad? Correcto. Pero Richard, la... solo una pregunta. Eh, no sé si todos, pero a mí no me ha caído el mensaje de, del otro curso. O no sé si ya se han mandado. Um, a veces se tardan un poquito, ¿verdad? Porque sí. hay como un receso de una o dos semanas para que se logren inscribir todos. Así que espero okay. que al, al finalizar el curso le llegue el mensaje. Sí, también ¿verdad? otras partes de semana para que apruebe el soporte de eso. Se lleva su tiempo. Okay. Ajá, así es, de una a dos semanas, hasta tres semanas a veces. ¿no? Just be patient. Ok. Ok, thank Yo you so much. Mucha paciencia. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye.